Can have a little um, discussion on the uh, MIDI in the OP1. It can be a little bit quirky and how MIDI operates. Uh, it uses a mini USB connection for the uh, interface, so you would have to uh, use some kind of USB to MIDI interface if you want to be using the 5 pin style MIDI. Most people would use a device such as the Op Lab from Teenage Engineering. Um, if you're using an iPad, you can use the camera connection kit from Apple. Um, I use iConnect MIDI, which allows you to connect USB to uh, MIDI and also connect to the um, Apple devices if you require it. Um, if we just look at the screen and press Shift and Com, and then press Shift, you can see that the MIDI channel, using the blue controller, remember pressing Shift, um, allows you to change the actual MIDI comms channel uh, that the device is communicating on. Um, so in this case we've got COM channel 2. Something else uh, just to have a quick look at is if you press the metronome function uh, you can see that the synchronization um, while you can sync to tape the synchronization can be changed again using the um, blue uh, green controller this time and you can see that you can change it to sync beat match and when you've got an external synchronization device connected it'll actually show external in the middle um, of that device and then the BPM will be controlled from the extern external device a couple of other things uh, just to show um, you can connect the um, OP1 to any uh, device and use the keyboard as um, a MIDI controller. The keyboard's not velocity sensitive so you just get the notes uh, signals passed through um, and that's um, for controlling another synthesizer or a, a door. Um, the other thing about it is that um, you can connect Ableton Live and there's a number of scripts available now from Teenage Engineering or on the internet to, um, to configure the unit and you can put it into uh, communications mode to allow it to um, function as a controller specifically for Ab Ableton Live. In the, in the synth section if I press shift 4 and change this to MIDI LFO You can see the four uh, MIDI uh, characters, CC1, CC2, 3 and 4. Um, what the uh, OP1 does is it allows you to, to interface to various parameters via the CC1 to CC4 signals. Uh, it doesn't allow you to connect directly. So you can't control, for example, filter cutoff by just mapping uh, a controller directly to uh, the filter cutoff setting. Um, perhaps I'll just explain by uh, showing you a diagram. So what you've normally got is um, a MIDI controller. Uh, you configure the controls to, from CC1 to CC4. Um, you would have a communications, a MIDI communications um, ne uh, network connected. If that's a 5-pin, you would have to have some kind of interface because the OP1 is USB. And then inside the OP1 you've got four CC1 to CC4 um, LFO um, settings and what you would do is interface the external device to these four settings and then internally you would configure each one of these settings to communicate or connect and modulate whatever parameter for example filter cutoff um, that you would require so this almost acts as a buffer an interface between the outside world and the OP1 and the only way you can get access to other parameters um, other than um, pitch bend, modulation wheel, um, the normal keyboard notes, inputs uh, that, that um, you would communicate to any device with. Just to quickly show you how to set up the CC1 to CC3, uh, the normal parameters would just change um, the destination, but if we press shift and the parameter blue green, white or red, you can see that the destination changes for that particular 
CC channel. So in this case, if we move it to a FX section, then the coloured dest destination parameters would be reflective of that uh, FX that's switched on to channel 3. So for example, CC1 connected through to FX. If I press Shift, you can see the FX section and if I change the blue controller to white you can see that it's going to be actually modulating the white parameter in the effect section so if I look at the effect the white parameter in this case is the feedback of the delay setting so whatever uh, is the white parameter in the effects in this case will be modulated